so there is a process of mm. how you think how you create um, how you present this and has, this is not a design job this is not a marketing job this it's is a not a feeling job so wow. the association of food selling not only about good looking food mm. is not saying oh my tandoori chicken is better for that you have 20 yeah. people to do it. but to bring those associations get a brand to sell and perceive you constantly as like that it's a it it is <clears throat> it is a strategic yeah thing. it's very very strategic emo strategic emo strategic it we can therefore you find so many brands which have become a habit because they are emo strategic to your life Welcome to Will Talks. Today we have an incredible gentleman, an award-winning hotelier, restauranter, chef, food connoisseur, and now an absolutely mind-blowing and stunning food stylist. That's right, you heard me. It's food styling, a uh, super niche in India. While I was talking to the gentleman, he told me that there were probably just twenty of the, you know. food stylists in india and in a country where we are over a billion people so today we're going to unbundle everything about hospitality restaurants running your own business entering the hospitality industry and more specifically about food styling we have with us today uh, mr nitin tandan thank you for joining us how are you feeling today oh <laughs> awesome you know very few people really talk about food styling i know it's the hottest thing right now to talk about food photography and making food look good but who's going to make it look good is pizza just not going to pop up there looking good right somebody got to do something to it so i'm so happy to be here so i can put my bit in and i mean i'll take off by saying it's a very ustad style ustad uh, style. artistry I know everything and you know nothing. Yes, yes. <laughs> and I shall not teach you anything. <laughs> <laughs> I love that because that's when we I I get genuinely curious about this and I love the way that you're saying it is art. It is yeah, expression. Yeah. Uh, I remember when I was talking to a photographer he was telling me you know photography do type ka hota hai ek hota hai criminal photography jo hua wahi dikha wahi dekhna no change no different perspectives uh -huh. and the other one is a photographer taking a photograph he's showing what he is seeing yes you know and i was like wow that is a difference is there some similarities uh, with food styling uh i think so it's like many layers and i i'll also along with you discover <laughs> the art <laughs> uh because for me when i started this career it was nothing but making food look good mm -hmm. and and nothing more than that oh there's beautiful i my, my career started as almost filling up an entire refrigerator full of food so that that brand uh, could sell the refrigerator and they had done a research and the research said if the refrigerator is completely packed with food the refrigerator will sell more in kerala goa because that's the survey so i said oh my god so it was packed inch to inch it took me i started in the morning at 9 by 4 o'clock when i turned around <laughs> it was time for evening tea and then i said what is here there is something more than just making the dish look lovely this dish its meaning is selling something right and then my journey unveiled from the dish looking good and i had this guy you know i was from i did taj and then i was the chef from obroys and a couple of chips on my shoulder any room i used to go i used to say i know it all types <laughs> you know is to get this lazy lazy looking into the eye kind of advertising boys okay one more right you know and they'll say we're not here for your good looking food we are here to sell something with your good looking food and if that food doesn't look the way we want it to be perceived then it's not good looking hmm. i said oh my god so the idea slowly moved from the dish looking good as to how this dish will sell and right from the journey of shiv sagar pizza with amul cheese yeah. to the cheese getting stretched with <laughs> mozzarella is like education journey for the market right yeah uh, people started when the first pizza came in they were scratching ki acha pizza aisa hota hai kya so it 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 took me back to the fact that colgate must have taken a journey of education to india to 
कैल नेम अभी दंत मंदन मत इस्तेमाल करो टूथपेस्ट को ऐसा ब्रश करते हैं सो दैट आई मे बी आई वॉज लाइक फर्स्ट बैच इन नाइन्टीज देर वॉज नो फूड स्टाइलिस्ट नो फूड देर नो फूड जीरो नो जीरो फूड स्टाइलिस्ट आर्ट डायरेक्टर विल कम ही विल ड्रेस कर्टन्स टेबल चेयर एंड देन ही विल डेकोरेट इडली एज वेल सो दिल they said we can't manage this we don't know this mm. so we chefs came and said this is wrong so they said what's wrong we can't see anything wrong in this <laughs> so i got i remember this very big brand and they sent me a list we want to shoot this and those time there was no internet so everything came out of a black book so we what f- kind of list would that be like so uh, so if it's a refrigerator this all has to be in the refrigerator acha like things inside the refrigerator. the refrigerator what you have to stack oh. so there is this big brand and i was using all their equipment in the hotel extremely big but during the journey of the game the logic of common has moved away so he is saying that we want this beautiful shot of the freezer with lettuce uh. in it i said but lettuce can never be frozen <laughs> <laughs> so our our director is saying, but वो green दिखेगा तो we will get that nature feeling. I said, but they're technically wrong, right? <laughs> oh, he says, yeah. So okay, we'll put apples. So I said, apples also cannot be frozen. <laughs> so he said, then what do you freeze? I said, with my small knowledge, in the nineties, the only thing you freeze is green peas. Green peas, <laughs> yeah. So he said, how is green peas going to look beautiful? I said, now we have a problem. Wow. Which needs a solution. Wow. Right? Wow. So then we went back and Blue Star was the brand they told us the most frozen vegetable in India is carrot and green peas. So whatever artistry you want to do, do between green peas and carrot. This is amazing because so, you're saying that these companies and the way food is shown changes culture. Yes. It changes behavior. Because imagine if you started putting lettuce in that in that ad, half of India would be freezing their lettuce. Uh, yes. so you are educating right you have that social responsibility and uh quickly uh, we we jump to the largest part of uh, food selling for advertising you you are making fake food and uh, not for the fact that the chicken is made out of rubber or anything else the food is genuine but the how it is cooked and then there are a lot of fake happening and oh. you have to be in a creative room to see six seven diverse minds and how they'll see milk it is crazy so really? while the while the give, entire give me an example like, tell me like, like if anything while, that comes from memory no no so if you go into a room and they'll say ab kya hai uh, i saw this ad for say gas or petrol or uh, some liquid the liquid is moving like this and it is coming and then it is becoming and then it's the world of the whole thing is turning around chalo isko milk mein kar dete hain so the bachcha is there and we'll show the first shot we'll enter his eye and the eye will burst and then he sees this uh, switzerland cow or swiss cow and then the cows are doing ma and <laughs> so they'll build such a beautiful story and they'll take milk and by the end you will be in a oh. dynamically different world with uh the child maybe be enrobed with uh, milk milk and when we are shooting we are using fevicol that's a different <laughs> thing <laughs> but this is neurology this is yeah. the neuroscience of it so so i always when, when when i meet people i said everything you want to know about food is already there in you all i have to do is plug a emotion that switches are already there don't don't tell me that when you're talking to me and you're imagining you're imagining in some sanskrit or your your type set with some uh, french language you are filled with pictures your mind are constantly filled with pictures all i have to do is i have to bring the picture in front and maybe i have to combine three pictures two emotions so masala mix up a new <laughs> recipe yeah. but you, you know what i'm what i'm realizing i'm shopping for what i want to eat with my eyes today when i go to one of these apps and yeah. i start scrolling Yes. I don't even look at the restaurant ka naam. I'm looking at the images of the food. So, so has that changed now? So it's completely changed. I I I feel that <clears throat> uh you see more than you read. 
राइट सो वी टू प्ले दोज गेम्स वेन यूर चिल्ड्रेन समी कम एन आस्क यू कैसे जाना है सीधा जाके लेफ्ट लेना एंड यू आर शोइंग राइट सो सो द इमेज इज डिरेक्टिंग यू सो मच me being a food seller me being part of this game me being part of branding me being part of so much creation when i am uh, shopping myself i am also submerged with a thousands of images of food packet and then if buying it at certain point saying that this is just the depiction of it mm. <laughs> your burger when you open will never be like that no. your maggi noodle will not be 2 <laughs> minute <laughs> so uh but the perception helps there is truth to it mm. uh, thank god our industry is pretty regulated self regulation most of the time that all these brands have built monopolistically right so if you look at maggi in india mm. when they launched who was there there was nobody they chose a different distribution channel they ch- chose the most easiest recipe noodle was one of the most easiest Eaten, <laughs> and they made two minute, mm. and your panwala had it. Yeah. Then after that they figured out everybody has their own recipe, so they made apna a cult wala, out of it. Apna wala Maggi. Oh. So it became apna wala Maggi. So if you look at Zomato, Swiggy today, the most sold dish on any menu today, two years back was kichdi, now uh, biryani is trending, and four years back it was pizza. Oh. So the most ordered dish nationwide is that's all happening because of that education, because of the banging. And today, the uh, Beros Biryani is the world's largest biryani restaurant. What? It is just because of the imagery. Where is one physical restaurant that you have seen? Where is? And I remember. I remember the photograph I saw. Uh, it's a copper big, ka thali or whatever. You know, and, and, and I'll tell you one thing. With steam coming out of it. And when the first time Beros came, it was an experiment. They came to us. They said, "I said, 'Kya hai? We're launching. We are Fazus. We are selling millions of wraps. But biryani bechne ka hai. We have this fabulous recipe, which we have figured out. So I said, 'Okay, we'll give you one day shoot. You create.'" whatever we don't have creative agency it's an experiment we will try it in four or five locations if they do we'll launch this brand i said wow is every 2 3 months we do this Whoa. i said the popping like chinese restaurants pizza brands like popcorn so i said okay let's do the biryani so we i sent them so there is a process of mm. how you think how you create um, how you present This, this is not a design job. This is not a marketing job. This it's is a not feeling a, job. Like you cannot, uh, uh, I'm, I'm, in terms of uh, roles and jobs in a company, for example, it is not a marketer's job or a salesman's job or a business development guy's job or a designer's job. I mean, commercial yeah, yeah, artist's yeah. job. This is a different job altogether. This and is somebody who's combining m- the customer, customer psyche into a image and business goal. So. And how many as culture and habit and habit and uh, and if combining you, photography. If you look at Ajinomoto and yeah, you, Ajinomoto is I know I know uh, that ma- that Ma- uh, it's like salt. I yeah, mean, is but if you go and look at oh Ajinomoto, no, sodium glutamate. glutamate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's supposed to be bad for health. Blah 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 yeah. blah. But if you go to Japan, everyone's having Ajinomoto makes about one thousand products. Oh, and we all our life has on have only seen. That yeah. monosodium glutamate, I'm MSG. So brands, when they move across the world, their acceptance is very, very, very culture united. So if you go, if you go to Starbucks, and if it's in Asia or Japan, and they don't have matcha coffee, uh-huh. they're done for. Yeah. And if matcha coffee came to India, two cups will sell in three days, maybe. <laughs> Right, that Pop. green thing. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can't understand it. So, yeah. so I think so. Every food is that mom thing, uh, habit thing, uh, association to something. Like the moment it will rain, you'll talk about pakoda and yeah. uh, malpoa. Yeah, onion pakoda, chai, chai, with that. You know why? Yeah. It's that association, right? It's a trigger, right? That emotional. It, so it's already there. Trigger. I don't need to go and. Like yeah. if 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 I take you down the grill room, and you look at red 
tikka you'll say it indian guy will say chicken tikka american will say this is peri peri uh, african mm. guy will say this is peri peri uh, barbecue chicken some will call it barbecue chicken you take it to asia the same thing will become satay somebody will call it yakitori so it's the same dish yeah either it's cured differently or it's cut differently the masa but the thing is you're marinating the chicken it's red in color but every guy you put into that room you can connect him with an image mm. his choices so masking minds mm. where where you tell he let's prepare a dish but it should look more like that mm. so that people perceive it so let's let's look at kfc biryani mm. kfc biryani so kfc does biryani uh, they have a rice bowl right so they have a rice bowl which now they made biryani bowl so they said which they have a awesome awesome uh, uh yellow rice they had the biryani mix and they put a fried chicken on top my version of biryani right mm. so if you go to sri lanka he'll he'll sell the same dish with his masala mix and call it maybe sambal rice or whatever uh, sambal yeah yes so for them it's the same thing it's only that perception so they always localization and what and so when you're doing that so that's where styling starts mm. what are you pulling out of what cult what are you taking the habit what is the perception you're giving this product category and for the larger brands which have say maybe 2000 stores 3000 stores if one product kind of takes off mm. okay and let's say that product got sold 100 pieces per day multiply by yeah and became the signature program and it couldn't come out of simplicity so mcdonald's did uh, 7 rupees yeah cone yeah they did the oh yeah, maxwell or whatever maxwell so maxwell became the launch product right mm. softy 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 so they yeah. bought softy back to your heart mm. they took the softy and they gave it such a awesome feeling soft so so bandra store in bombay when they opened first day sale first day sale of just the softy was 7000 softies oh God. so there were people Line are not lining money. up for the burger oh. they are lining up for 7 <laughs> rupees they made you associate mm. the brand to a lesser price point they made you associate it to sweetness of life then, then you go there and you say because we were not used to eating uh, uh, burger oh yeah yeah yeah, we, we are just a, heard it, of we are a idli paratha paratha joint. Dosa, so the yeah. first ad I remember doing are for McDonald's. Our burger buns are softest. Our fish are the most uh, tastiest. Blah blah. Still, people didn't understand. And then we went into a meeting room. I remember going into a meeting room, and they said, "We do combos." So what we do is, to American burgers, we, we take a burger, we sell them a fries, we give them a drink. It's called a combo. So and one guy in the room, you know, what did he say? Ye to thali hai. <laughs> so we shot the burger in a small stainless steel thali. Oh. So we put the burger there. We put the French fries there and we put the glass. I said, McDonald comes to India. So oh. the association of food selling is not only about good looking food. Mm. It's not saying, oh, my tandoori chicken is better. For that, you have 20 yeah. people to do it. But to bring those associations... Get a brand to sell and perceive you constantly as like that. It's a, it, it, is, <clears throat> it is a strategic. Yeah, it's very, very strategic. emo strategic. Emo strategic. It, we can, therefore, you find so many brands which have become a habit because they are emo strategic to your life. Mm. They, they become part. Food. They, they become part of you. You food. tell me I'll go to any part of the world and at... The fifth day, sixth day, you are tired of... You want to eat your dal... dal you want to eat your dal <laughs> You snap back to default. So, so <laughs> I, I, I went to do a shoot in Bangkok. The first time, like a lot of pa uh, Pakistan what a, shoot. What a food scene in Bangkok. Huh? The and street food scene. Every so the, the team was there for about 10-12 days shooting. And now I'm talking in the early 90s. They were crying. They said, we can't eat this Thai food every day. We are getting tired. Mm. So they said, who are you? I said, I'm a food stylist. Now I was warned at that time that you will not get any Indian Indian food. And I was doing 
tikka and biryani and so we carried everything from here so part of that in those years i met a friend he said there is something called you know you can carry bulk packs of dal palak so if you are going on the shoot mm. and you get uh, sick home sick no no you home get sick no if the dish is not ready uh-huh. all you can do is cut the dal rather than sitting and i said a oh, great idea i am not talking in 90s and the shoot happened few packets got left so on the last day we were shooting on the second last day i opened kali dal and there was some uh, uh, pulao mm. uh, or in it jeera. oh no i made the jeera rice uh, i remember rice. and pulao and <laughs> aloo matar mm. aloo matar full shoot that trying to find the table where we are serving this <laughs> so that is how food is going to it it magnetic it's like, yes magnetic magnetic and I met a guy, the same model who shot in that shoot. I met him a year later, and guess how I'm getting introduced on the set, saying this is the guy who gave me Indian food in Bangkok. Oh. So food has a very deep meaning. Food very has, personal. It's very personal. And Mummy ki yaad aati hai. Haan. Papa ki yaad aati hai. Yes. So Iske how? Ka khana. How does a brand which is sitting in a factory thousand and thousand of miles away from your home making a food? food bring emotion to mm. you buying it and enjoying it you are you saying that every packet has tasty food in it no right and everybody's idea of taste is different yeah. yeah so what is selling is the feeling but happiness is the same for everyone yes and that is happiness is common is for common for oh, that, that and, is and inside boss It's yeah like that is inside and it is common sense but you that know? is common sense but that we is. commonly we yeah, do not press it yeah so we are always trying to like push the wrong thing so why why don't you unpack this for maybe some of the students who may watch this program for example like what exactly is food styling what does your day look like Uh, what does a client ask you to do, and then how do you go about doing it? Up करते क्या हो exact detail में? If you can, if you can shed so that if some light on I, that, it'll be I, really I, nice. So if I say that you're like a heart surgeon hmm. to that food, or so a studio day is not like just the day; it's just the day of execution. But understanding, hmm. so initially we were told, ऐसा है, ऐसा करना है, वैसा करना है. Then when at the world of advertising. Got larger, then we were asked because of the experience, and also part of that journey is to understand what that food means to your life. What is the competition doing? What are the colors? What are the way this is presented? Will feel to all this is somebody. research, huh? and before, then you have to study all this before the shoot. Yeah, for days. <laughs> then you will. present to the creative person that we feel that kali dal should be associated like that so kali dal let's say is association with itc will be very chef based because they are a chef based brand and they work more on heritage so will for use the rule of five what are the five key things out of which you want to send a message and what are the brand five values that mm. you want so in that journey i started learning branding Mm. I didn't even know that there Something. was a concept called branding. Then after that, we start looking at the textural and cultural. Because if I'm having this packet, I can't print six packets for India. Mm. You may have kali dal with chawal in Punjab. Somebody will eat it with puri. Somebody will eat it with paratha. Somebody will eat it with chapati. So the how. If you say that अभी ये काली दाल के साथ चावल कैसा खिला रहे हम लोग तो कभी खाता ही नहीं है ये तो डिश ही रॉन्ग है सो इवन दैट इज टू बी स्टडीड एंड नाउ इज दिस काली दाल पोजिशन एज अ टू गो काली दाल फॉर अ स्टूडेंट जस्ट नैप द पैकेट एंड ईट इट सो दैट टाइम आई एम जस्ट शोइंग फन आई एम जस्ट शोइंग ईज आई एम शोइंग फूड एप्लीकेशन सो आई कॉन्ट से दैट ये शाही खाना आई एम इज नॉट इंटरेस्टेड राजा महाराजा राजा महाराजा विल से फॉरगेट इट डू टाइम नहीं है बॉस टाइम नहीं है आई हैड टू कैच माय नेक्स्ट एंड आल्सो व्हाट हैपेंड आई आई डोंट नो योर एंड मी आर वेरी वी ऑल गॉट व्हाट यू कॉल बिकेम वर्ल्ड सिटीजंस 
So geography is history. Geography is history. history. <laughs> we all became world citizens. So we don't want. We want to feel cool. We don't want to eat our kali dal. Uh, we don't want to eat our aloo matter because I better eat a aloo tikka burger, no, rather than if my mom asks me. Yeah. Mom sees it as junk food. So how do you position this kind of food that is still as cool? As cool. This is amazing so, because what I eat, I am saying that I belong to this group. Ko belong karta yes. ये ट्राइब को बिलोंग करता हूँ ये थॉट को बिलोंग करता हूँ एंड यू नो जस्ट वाइल यू आर टॉकिंग दिस थिंग हिट मी वाइल एवरी इंटरनेशनल ब्रांड इज ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग गरम चाय मसाला चाय इज ट्राइंग टू ब्रिंग टिक्की बर्गर इन टू देयर मेन्यू यस एवरी लोकल इंडियन रेस्टोरेंट हुज डैम गुड एट द फूड इज ट्राइंग टू डू सो इफ यू लुक एट जपैन एंड इफ यू लुक एट चाइना एंड इवन एलेक्स आई जस्ट केम फ्रॉम वेतनाम they only the very very strong cultures even i consider very strong cultures we manage to stay away from that prop un- universalization that you get bombarded by pizza cheese so there's strong culture to still preserve and eat ramen noodle no, and kali dal you're saying those many of those cultures vietnam china yeah are you saying wait just for me to understand those cultures which are strong were able to keep the westernized corporate chains out for no, example they, i heard they are very in strong Sh- in philippines mcdonald's couldn't do even one shop because yeah. jolly bee was yeah <laughs> jolly bee was far uh, mcdonald's to chalta hi nahi nahi so so some cultures are so deep rooted i think so we are also very deep rooted but we have to strongly understand that we may be uh, th- there are about 2000 mcdonald's in india mm. And let's 2000, say, huh? yeah. Uh, is less, that a, sir. Is that a big number? No, it's a India? very, very small number. Sure. Very, very small number. They actually are not even 2000. I'm just Domino's is larger than uh, McDonald's in India. And that's still Store not large, number. right? I mean, very, very small number. Like for India, a large number would mean what? Like how many Udupi restaurants maybe there uh, in Bombay? So, so I don't know. Uh, I I address the Shetty Association as they call uh, this. they said we are like totally listed some 10000 plus in bombay i am talking so if you multiply but there is no dosa company getting up in the morning and say eat dosa but there is the foreign brands conflicts khao who every day are telling you see when kellogg's came until today they, they are just a 600 crore brand it's large 600 is large but In the context of India, na? consumption market share क्या है? हाँ नहीं वो in compared to paratha खत्म कुछ नहीं कुछ भी नहीं है चटनी जितना हाँ <laughs> good sense of <laughs> sizing <laughs> so I if there is a responsibility for us in depiction in uh, as you say ना people use sustainability mm-hmm. social responsible we also social responsible so we always very sensitive and today advertising very sensitive to how we portray so there is a lot of audit creative audit client uh, audit client point of view to the brand so this debates keep going on for a long long time then we say okay this is the depiction and then they know that the depiction is moving away from the office into a outside creative person's table and he may fly with it mm. so sometimes they want you to fly with it and sometimes they just want but every time you have to provide that same message mm. or the desired message then we get into photographer will say i'll use this kind of lighting somebody will say so i i i remember doing a cookbook okay for kangra so i didn't even know where kangra was it's in himachal and when i went to himachal that food does not exist anymore <laughs> there is no restaurant you can go to you have to go to somebody's house it's, it's like kangra that kangra valley right yeah it's the kangra valley so you are in kangra valley eating punjabi food and that guy stand to say that yeah kangra style <laughs> come on don't do this So we did lot of research. You have to go into the homes. 
माउंटेन सो आई सेड ओके एंड ई सेड इट्स कोल्ड हाउ आर यू एक्सपेक्टिंग मी टू ग्रो अनियन एंड टमेटो सो आई सेड येस देर इज He's saying I get some onion, but I don't get tomato. So he said the dal that we make here mostly is without Indian tomato. I said in my life I have never cooked Indian tomato. Get bigger Indian food. <laughs> That's the base, no? Base. <laughs> so onion gravy, tomato gravy. So then I I, I stayed there for to in Dharamshala and then went two days. Then I figured. That is a very silent space. For kilometers, there are no people. Start getting worried, <laughs> you know. So when we did the book, it had no brand, right? It has no brand. No brand is saying Britain is not telling me. I said the book has to be very silent, and the book has to be very cold, and the light has to be from the mountain. So the author. she was from there so she immediately understood i said you don't do anything just get the coldness of the stone in the book so the to create emotion there is a science and the science can not come by referencing alone it has to come by experiencing as well and it has to come by you becoming a storyteller you you have no other choice but to be a storyteller you had and way you want him to see it is coming in multitude layers i am still a student of that mm. art where every day i have to learn like my father he was a film director and one day he was working on a story with somebody uh, so he saying i am writing a love story so i said i don't see you writing or telling him something <laughs> but that guy is writing something so he saying i am making a young story of these two mm. college students and yeah uh blah blah and i'm going to present this so i said then why what is this guy saying he saying my age is 60 that guy is age is 20 my idea of love is already 40 years old he say i have to learn how a 20 year old thinks in this year because the 20 year old in that year mm. thought differently so we all in the experience of how life is seen are constantly evolving and changing so at one time i did one ad and it stuck there in the magazine at time of india or uh, saw one ad and it was over right and you should tell us as to come home with a magazine and show my kids you know i did this ad now that same ad has different platforms so did, the platform decides mm. the emotion so like how you were talking to me if it's a reel it's 30 seconds mm. and it has to be very candid yet it should be advertorial mm. so you'll shoot for that separately then you'll do a influencer ad campaign separately then you will do a dg ad separately because the magnification is separate the food will talk very differently the, in a 6 inch because you're going right into way. but the size is only 6 inch right mm. then you will make the similar ad with the same thoughts maybe for tv and different so the, platforms and so the platforms are deciding the, the utility depth of the ad the, the depth, depth of, of the, the content com- and the depth yeah, of the and you have to be very very vivid about how it's getting consumed so sometimes you have to end up doing nothing uh because the place is crowded right yeah so that is also food styling so w- one thing that is coming to my mind now is that a lot of these students or a lot of people today who have phones you know about 5 years ago there was this joke on the internet saying uh, every fellow with a camera phone feels like a photographer in a way of speaking and then there was this whole trend yeah, online yeah. on instagram where people are putting their food photos 
okay so what do you want to tell let's say people who put fo- who have a a camera phone take food photographs what do you want to tell them about food first styling? time i want to tell <laughs> first time i want to tell all the photographers sorry <laughs> point number 2 is anything and and i'm quite sure you talk about artificial intelligence well, what is it doing it's trying to systemize and replicate through algos or mm. software design is a very personal story mm. you you can't put uh, seven templates of design thinking now and to everybody food is very personal it no more is a phone with a camera it's a camera with a phone that that's the stage we are at and if you look at the techno daddies they made everything super simple so they'll go and say hey we'll shoot you now we'll give you a vintage look you dress up with your own wedding dress mm. i'll click you and, then, and yeah the vintage look will take you back 20 years 30 so same thing you can do with food and more than the food people want to know as much how it got done not the recipe video back of the scene how did you plan it how they they are as intrigued so they are mostly focused now just on the photograph so they need to go Fo- beyond that so yahan tak photograph kaise aap, yeah no? and so photograph like videos you see now we had 5g right yeah, yeah. when the real 5g will come into yeah, our lives yeah. and then your data will... gets over in 5 minutes <laughs> <laughs> also <laughs> yeah but you'll you'll forget still imagery oh. because you can upload a video so quickly so you never think life in still right i am enjoying a pizza <laughs> it's never like this it's you pulling the stretch you're enjoying it coming out of, so videos will take over dominate and that's why you see facebook you'll see insta you have, they are very strong on video you see they say youtube is the is is the biggest search engine now yes and it's got only video so they are the well, like my i have a very small slice of learning youtube is a proper running advertising agency tv you throw 2 million pieces of content at the world they'll start paying you for it that is because they respect you as a content maker we always said no in our time mm. sorry I, our time is i'm still he <laughs> <laughs> is like content is king yeah and it will continue to be king in what format you consume it will be awesome so the phone is it mm. if you look at cinematic modes and portrait modes yeah they are as good sorry i'm just propagating iphone iphone is now a uh, slow mo rate is at 240 you cannot get half the cameras which have that uh, speed mm. so what is going to happen by the time we'll be using maybe iphone 16 it will be actually a pro mode camera it will be close to the cost of any professional camera because they said you can also speak with this acha yeah. so <clears throat> that is the king that is the consumer the way you will see food will be different and candidness it's it's just the phase that i keep talking about you and me saw films where people were dancing in gardens mm. and going beyond trees and going beyond trees <laughs> why does today cinema not have it it's only because we want to see the reality we know this is not reality right yeah. you take me to sci-fi world i'll know okay i'm taking you're taking me to future but this is like total <laughs> see right you, know? <laughs> you you don't want to consume or uh, see that so same way is going to happen mm. so food is going to take different avatars different perception food so there is something called blog photography where you put everything and make a big mess so in advertising we get scripts like that we like this we like the blog style so it should be organized mess oh. i want to give that feeling of reality but i want to be neat yeah. right so on a film set even the beggar gets new clothes <laughs> got it got it <laughs> so, in so, fact i was listening to this uh, one uh, um, talk by kishor biani and he was talking about how he designed yeah um uh, food bazaar no, food big hall. bazaar big bazaar yeah, and all that big. he designed it to be like a little bit of a mess yeah 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 versus hyper city 
yes. which was very high end because the custom, the brand insight was ju- indians feel that what is like thoda pasara hua hai ha indians feel it is cheaper करेक्ट वर्सेस समथिंग इज ऑल नीटली डन एंड दैट फॉर मी इज बैक लाइट ऊपर से ये तो मुझे फॉर मी दैट इज आल्सो फूड स्टाइलिंग ओनली सो व्हेन पीपल सी द एप्लीकेशन ऑफ फूड स्टाइलिंग अ कलनरी सीडर सीज इट एज मेक प्लेट बनाएगा उसमें अच्छा स्मॉल प्लेट में बिग फूड बिग प्लेट में स्मॉल फूड डालेगा एंड आई विल फोटोग्राफ इट एंड इन माय क्लास प्रेजेंटेशन आई विल कम फर्स्ट बट दैट इज perceived unreality because in real life it is not happening anymore like that <laughs> yeah I, I even the restaurants are not serving anymore correct but i remember my wife you know once i made spaghetti and i i, I told my wife uh, how does this look she's like well it looks what it looks like but i can make it look five times better than this and i said how she took 90% out of the plate and put it in a white plate <laughs> she's like <laughs> presentation presentation is presentation is so, so important so right? supreme and now presentation is getting combined with experience mm. you know so and they talk about uh, we, we used to get enthralled by that lava cake you cut the lava oh, cake and the chocolate oozes out oozes out <laughs> and then the ad shows about you get into the world of chocolate so that chocolate brain <laughs> yeah so you have a chocolate brain fog complete <laughs> yeah melody itni chocolatey ki do when you look at it you ask him where's the chocolate where did they fit it in what's <laughs> <laughs> um, amazing so is there a is there a future in it is there a career in it uh, what will you tell students or uh, you know there's so many uh, home bakers today yeah. who make amazing cakes they are all food stylist in a way of they are so so that's just that they don't know it and what if they want to learn more about it what would you like to share uh, so, with them so uh, one is practice two is document document third is to see what somebody else is doing there's a whole community out there uh, unfortunately i feel bad that there is no formal education on this you mean and there's no formal education means you cannot go and do a course anywhere in the But world hotel management colleges also so to sikhata kon hai so i'm been interacting with them off late and every place they said yeah we've got this students telling us we want to learn food mm-hmm. selling and photography but we don't know so, so they can't go to they may have to end up going to a photography school school and so in that one tiny elective khana khana so so that's, that's not, not going to happen that's not going to work yeah. and that guy is going to teach you the technique of camera not the technique of food presentation so there is no curriculum also so you have to only learn it through apprenticeship that means and that means you have to come to some daddy who doesn't want to teach you if i started <laughs> this i told you that i don't want to teach anybody <laughs> right i am like that ustad i have that art <laughs> i have that <laughs> ego nobody <laughs> has and and that's been our attempt back in office that every knowledge has to be shared it it can't be held a, a secret it, i mean it's not the right thing number 2 is you can be today student today student wants to practice more than he wants to read right so the moment you plug anything in he says that i can know from google sir but now tell me how to do this so we've been telling ourselves and what we've been practicing small is you call the guy you put throw him in the pool right away mm. let him splatter around a little and then he splatters he says sir i don't know this properly then he say okay let's practice it together mm. so practice together and what we spoke in the earlier cook along or you style need, along you so you start style. from first go only you style along so he styles badly you don't tell him why he is styling badly you don't 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 pull any bachcha down because you're flowering the guy then you tell him to do this there are six principles i'm going to teach you so then you give the theory then you then tell you. him composition color wheel third i uh, rule of the third sense of design blah blah and getting the food culture and he says chal you do it i'll do it hmm. and i'll give you a story behind why i'm doing this and why do it how is the storytelling tuning a mind to what you are going to see be and then once he understands that oh this is the method to think 
then let him practice it all his life right then it's a journey of mastery then it, he'll do far better than me even maybe in 5 months because he understands the art let me tell you something For me being an educator and working with children and understanding a little bit about how people teach people and how children learn what you just described there without knowing is one of the biggest ideas of teaching a skill it's called the grr okay. it's called the gradual release of responsibility theory wow what happens is when there is an ustad a teacher or somebody who understands the craft of the skill yeah. and there is a student who doesn't have that knowledge craft or skill and he is trying to learn that the responsibility lies solely mm. on the teacher on the master man on the master craftsman yeah. and not on the student now the whole idea is in that process of learning the master has to gradually release responsibility to the student and the process that they use is i do you do we do, do. sometimes sometimes i do we do you do yeah, yeah and it's amazing see the that's thing how is skills get transferred see also the most awesome thing is we're not teaching them engineering it's not that he puts two parts the origin some making chemical the whole thing will burst and there's no 3 hour written test after that yes exactly right so my thing is that he's interacting with a medium or he's interacting with something which is so easy it's so much him it's an extension of who you are and you give that version of mm. you so if i'm talking that you are south indian and you want to make this tasty dish and you want to make a lot do something with idli it doesn't need to be a foreign dish mm. start with what you have start and start make with what that you proud make yeah. that proud because like I, i don't know whether you've seen this uh, chef's table yeah Okay, I think I have. and yeah, and Netflix, this yeah. uh, chef, who an obnoxious guy, and he went to Europe, and he was working in an Italian with the Italian chef, and he finally the Italian chef came and told him, "You will never be as good as I am, because you're traveling from a foreign land, trying to get to master pasta. I am around thirty five years ahead of you." my mom fed it to me from the day i was born it's so much part of you. it can never be part of you if you really want to win go back to your homeland and he shows obviously it's a great storytelling goes back to the amazon and he starts working with the tribe from where he belonged wow and he created his own culinary language hmm. and he became a michelin star restaurant because he understood it like nobody else understood it mm. therefore good food is available in unknown corners is because how you understand it how you present it how you are truthful about it today and 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 for every student that fantasy let's let's end with fantasy fantasy is gone we leave it for sci-fi we leave it for the reality we we'll, even is depiction in reality if the cookie crumbles then if it is messy then it is messy mm. right and 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 that is the story mm. right and when i used to work with uh, chefs who came from abroad and he said we are doing a wilted spinach salad i said chef how can you write wilted spinach salad <laughs> let's talk about the poached pear in it or the red wine vinaigrette he'll say no but if you cook spinach, spinach it will wilt yes. so let's be truthful i said so truthful <laughs> <laughs> so the stories are going to change with how a culture and a habits are going to change the phone is going to take over please don't complicate your life for a culinary student at least with the photography aspect exploit the technology which came with the phone mm. enhance it with some post production technique which is already there in the phone and if you don't know any software there are 100 softwares telling you what to do Exactly. And just on a closing note, what I wanted to what I wanted to share was one of the things that you told me during this this conversation that came up was the fact that fortunately everything is going well in this industry yeah. because there are very few of people like you, very few people are running this industry and because of that there's a lot of self-regulation. And yeah. because there's a lot of self-regulation, the work that is happening, the the content that you're producing, 
the way you are shaping how people are going to live their life choose make preferences yep. that is with authenticity with integrity with a certain intention and it is a good natured thing what i'm what i'm saying is that this also means that a lot of students a lot of people a lot of housewives a lot of culinary professionals or people just anyone interested in this food science or uh, this way of you know bringing things they need to study more and they need to get into this because if they don't people who are not with the right intentions might enter and shape the civilization yeah i way. always feel yeah. i always feel the first people who came into industry start shaping that industry mm. right that's and what they call pioneers right pioneers They're pioneers and 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 if the wrong pioneers came mm. some industries don't evolve or they die or they are seen it's a disservice yeah it's a disservice so is you have that socio responsibility uh, we are a great culture we are also truthful culture mm. uh, as very human world of young minds so that's the awesome part number 2 it's very easy subject to learn number 3 you have no idea what is going to happen and which i didn't elaborate there are going to be three parts of you you your creation and showing off your creation so you could not show off your creation earlier because there was no form to show your creation so let's look at 10 or 15 years back if i had to show anybody i'm a great chef i have to be on tv you will never get on tv <laughs> you're not that great <laughs> right <laughs> now whether you're great or not great you can, you can be, be on youtube yeah any channel mm. so that became easy number 2 is whether you made good or bad but you made truthful it can be on insta and it can be on uh, facebook or any platform on a reel that responsibility you already have you know why because your brand is attached to it mm. so it's self regulatory mm. and i am only one proper get it thought that i leave behind for any student make a language make a unified language of expression don't have to do this today do that you can do it with 400 forms of food but the way you look and the way you dress dress up your food has to be an extension of who you are and once you have that language shoot every day and master that every day you will find a golden uh style and once you have got your fix that's your fingerprint and that is your digital fingerprint that's your fingerprint that's your fingerprint my request to you uh, tandan sir is to make a course we already making one okay <laughs> first we want everybody to come on insta on i find allowed yes please a- a- nt food styling nt food, food styling. styling keeps it yeah. simple no yeah. nitin tandan food styling nt food styling and we are starting with simple workshops we are starting with a digital platform where you can access and understand we want to meet a million people because we want to touch their lives and we want not to tell them how to do things but we want just for them to enter the alley to create their own expression and each ex- way you create your own personal expression mm-hmm. is the journey it's not about i know it's what we can do together so it's a very harmonious garden of expression that we're trying to uh, create amazing yeah and i i don't know it's a long journey i need a minimum i just calculated 243 more years to live <laughs> that, that <laughs> that's <laughs> remarkably precise <laughs> <laughs> it's a long journey out but there but thank you so much and on a closing note and this time i am closing on a closing mm-hmm. note uh w- you don't know who the next speaker is going to be on the will talks podcast and without knowing who the next speaker is give me a question that i could ask him or her so my my question to anybody everybody is what makes them click and what is their reason to be what makes them click so everybody has you meet this kid he has this great magic yeah. is bubbling around you meet a leader he has this great oh laga hua ha oh laga <laughs> so what is your reason to be because when you go nowhere you have to come back home right 
and to your mind what is that come back home got it i will so, ask this yeah, please to the next person i wait you. for the answer <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> thank you so much thank for you. spending time with us it was absolute delight absolute pleasure and lots of learning and discovery thank you so much i hope this goes a million miles to everybody who wants to learn something about telling stories with food thank you thank you